Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for all 12 signs. This is makeup, breakup, or new love. So guys, if you're looking for my information to book a personal reading, you'll find it listed in the description box below the video. You'll also find our Etsy store there for our tarot deck, Magical Fantasy Tarot is on sale. Get it while you can also in the description box um, i am giving away three three question readings so if you're interested put a uh, number three q and three red hearts in the comments section let's get into this for aries i've got aries at one minute well actually it's 105 okay You're, you're not happy with somebody here. Let's got not enough. Self-sabotage, ego and fear, frustration. Lacking confidence. Aries, you're going through some stuff. You're, you're feeling, you're feeling a little bit, um, fearful. I feel like if there's fear here or you feel like you're not enough or you're not good enough or whatever the case may be. You got girl with the snake, which is charmed or used and able boundaries. Somebody may have used you and made you feel like you weren't worthy um, when it came to love, but you're gaining some wisdom from all of this. You're, you're understanding the lesson in all of this. If somebody treated you this way, this says more about them than it does about you. It absolutely does. So I feel like somebody may have held back an apology and, uh, you know, you're looking at somebody's past mistake, a king of cups, a cancer, Pisces or a Scorpio. I almost feel like you were trapped in your head thinking there were third parties in this commitment. You had to take control and walk away. You moved on you're waiting for the truth okay um out in the cold out in the cold waiting for the truth i feel like this person did you di dirty they held back an apology they they didn't um you felt some kind of way and now when it comes to love you're kind of a little bit feeling not worthy or you weren't you, you felt like you weren't good enough whatever the case may be understand that when it comes to love aries you are more than worthy. You are good enough. And if somebody treated you that way, it says something about them and not about. This is about them and their insecurities. So Taurus. I feel like uh, Aries years was lies. So at three, at four, even we have Taurus. You got date. You got somebody love bombing you, though. New beginning financial. Okay. Chris. Somebody may, they're too, um, too eager. I, I, it has to do with money. This new beginning has to do with money. This person's expressing their love, messages of love, thinking of you. They're saying all the right things. They're dating you. Um, somebody may be a bit of a gold digger, whether you're masculine or feminine. This person's there for the money, right? Taurus, you may, you may um, regret moving forward. 
to rebuild with somebody, you cut, you cut out this relationship for a reason. It could be with a, an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. This person's wanted to be with you for a long time, but uh, you know, you're trapped in your head about it. You're coming in in that Queen of Swords mode. Yeah, you know this person's drama. There's going to be some drama. If you, that you know if you take that leap that there will be drama. You know what this person's about. You're manifesting burden. The harsh truth, you know you're manifesting a burden with this person. This person's there for the money. They want to take you out and they want to wine you and dine you. They are love bombing you. This says love calls, but I'm getting love bombing because the money and the new beginning. This person knows what you have. They've wanted to be with you for a long time because you may have a good job. You may have your own home. You may be very independent, um, but this person's not there for love. They're there for the money. So... Pay attention to the red flags, whether you're masculine or feminine Taurus. I believe that's lies. Um, so Gemini at 635. Somebody who's interest is, interested in you is cutting out a commitment. They're telling you this. They're telling you on the phone or they're messaging, whatever the case may be, whether they are, you know, messaging you or um, texting, phone calls, they're cutting out a commitment they, because they're interested in you. Yeah, see, this person... This person is saying, oh, I'm going to leave her or I'm going to leave him, whatever the case may be, right? It's illuminating you waiting. Somebody is juggling a betrayal. This is like someone is, there's two people involved here and somebody's betraying somebody. They're telling you, they're literally telling you that they want to be with you and they want to cut somebody out. I feel like you're walking away from this. You've dealt with cheaters in the past. You're in control of this situation. This person is committed. This person is committed. Gemini, you're the one cutting this person out because of past. You see, you've seen, you've been through that again. You getting that clarity is cutting somebody out because somebody's a player and you don't want to deal with the burden. You're not going to carry the burden on your back with this one, right? So you're finding out that somebody's in a relationship, but they want to be with you. You're going to cut them off. Lies, lies, lies. Okay, Cancer at 834. You've got a karmic relationship here. But you have outdated thinking. Somebody thinks you're old fashioned. Somebody thinks you're old fashioned. There's something hidden. Um, it could be memories or photographs. Tell me about this. Um, Cancer, why do I feel like this person, they're secretly photographing you or whatever the case may be, you're going to find out about this? I don't feel like you're in a karmic relationship or you, this may be. Mm. What were they doing? Somebody's wishing to give you some clarity. Uh, they're wishing to give you some clarity and communicate about something hidden in the partnership for a long time. This person may have been videotaping you while you were in the relationship. I'm going to tell you, this person could have videotaped you without your knowledge or taken, uh, 
photos of you without your knowledge. I feel like you're telling me, telling this person, right? There's, there's something that somebody is in, there's an ending here and somebody waiting up to somebody illuminating whatever's being held back. You're waiting for them to, to tell you, um, this offer is to play mind games and manipulate you somehow. You want an opportunity to see whatever this is. They're, they're telling you. Why are they offering you? There's deception offered. This person's intent is to like kind of, they have something on you that you, you want an opportunity to see it, right? You want an opportunity to see what they are playing mind games and manipulating you with, right? Because whatever they're offering is deception. Whatever this person is bringing towards you, cancer is deception, right? You know, the harsh truth is you need to just block this person and not speak to them. Um, this person may, um, may have some kind of photograph of you doing something, or it's almost like they're blackmailing you. You have outdated thinking. Uh, they think you may be naive, like you're, you're too, um, about conditioning, replaying events over in your head, old school. So you're trying to figure out when they could have had a chance to do this. This person's up to no good. Cancer, don't, don't uh, buy into the nonsense. Okay, so Leo. Leo at 1209. Again. You have a narcissist with photographs, with a camera, and you have, cancer could have been dealing with a Leo. Because you've got camera and narcissist here, and then you've got security and stability illuminated. Somebody's photographing you. Somebody's doing some kind of photographs or videotapes. Whatever the case may be, they're using, they use it against you somehow. I mean, if you have children together, they're going to try to find some dirt on you somehow, possibly. This is about your sec security and stability. Um, you have narcissist, Leo, a reminisce. I mean, it could go either way. It could go either way here. Somebody's wanting to communicate. They want a new passionate beginning with them, but you, you've cut, this could be to cut out a relationship. Now guys, if you have an ex coming towards you, Leo, if you have an ex coming towards you and this person, this person is trying to get you to hang out with them, new passionate beginning, uh, be patient here. Pay attention. This person's being strategic about getting a new beginning, okay? This person wants to either break up your relationship with somebody else, but they want to get the dirt on you because you got camera, you got narcissist, you got stability illuminated, right? Your stability and security illuminated. It's illuminating this. It's illuminating this. It's like an offer to... Oh, okay. This person has wanted to get even with you somehow for a minute. It's been going on for a long time. This person breaks your heart continuously. They're very strategic about what they're doing, right? Whatever, this is not an apology. This is not an apology. This is an offer, illuminating an offer, but heartbroken for a long time. You're trapped in your head about some kind of communication where there was an argument or a fight. Somebody is, okay. So you're the one who wants the victory here. It's almost like a battle of wills here. 
So you could be the king of swords. I feel like this now it you could it could be the other way around, but I feel like it's a battle of wills here. Mm. This is against a Queen of Cups, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. So Cancer and Leo, the, you kind of have very, um, very similar readings, but from two perspectives. I feel like... I feel like you're the queen of the king of swords here in this case, um, Leo. You may have something against a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio because your wish is to have the strength. This is a victory for you to have strength. Queen of Wands over a Queen of Cups is your wish fulfillment. So this is you wanting to win over somebody. So you're the king of swords to the queen to the pre empress pre empress being cancer. So this is interesting how these two readings kind of mirror one another. So either way, guys, somebody here is trying to manipulate somebody's security or stability with some kind of photograph. Interesting, very interesting. Okay. I'm getting lies on all, pretty much all these were lies today, guys. I mean, we're talking some Let's get some love, some makeups without manipulation. Okay, Virgo. Okay. Virgo, I feel like for you, you're in separation. You're trying to heal yourself. You're taking control of whatever's the dark clouds are. Whatever, what's the, the, the low dark clouds, rainy days, it's like taking control of the rainy day. Healing your heart. You know, you may be sad. You're in separation with somebody. You're rushing to get clarity. Working on getting some clarity in divine time. You're being very strategic here. You want to end coming out of, you want to end being left out in the cold. Your wish fulfillment is a new passionate beginning. This is a reconciliation. This is a makeup. You're rushing in, working on clarity. In divine timing, you're, you're coming in very strategic. You have a, you know, you know what you want. You're, you're headed to get it, right? Um, you want to end being left out in the cold. And your wish fulfillment is a new passionate beginning. You want to be with this person. You're unhappy about the drama. This person may resist you. They may need the strength to resist you. You're trying to get this person. You got an empress to an emperor here. I feel like you're trying to get this person back. You, you want them to make a decision. You know. You have strong emotions about taking that leap of faith. It's almost like this is a makeup. You're trying to get over a broken heart. You know, you're trying to take control. You got the emperor and the bear, which is the emperor to me in this deck. So I feel like you're trying to take control so that you can reconcile. So I see a makeup with Virgo. At 1921, I have a leap. Okay, Libra, somebody is trying to get you to cut ties. They're trying to sabotage something that you have going on with a sweet man, the sweetness of this man. You have somebody who is, I feel like, you feel like this person is so sweet, loving, caring, kind energy. Um, and you have somebody trying to sabotage and cut ties, get you to cut ties. 
be heartbroken in divine timing about a commitment. See, you have a queen of wands here that wants a new passionate beginning. So it's almost like this person's trying to cut you out, cutting out the empress, right? So this person in divine timing, the commitment in a new passionate beginning with the queen of wands, but cutting out the empress. Now you're trying to cut out an empress for heaven's sakes. Come on. You got to look at things from a different perspective. Manifesting an attack. Somebody's using witchcraft here to sabotage you. Libra, someone's using, you are the empress here. So, and look at it from a different perspective. This, this sweet man, that you, the sweetness of this man. So I feel like there's a chemistry between the two of you. It's because somebody's manifesting an attack, spiritual attack, queen of wands, so that they can get a new passionate beginning. They want you to think they're sabotaging it. They're trying to sabotage the union, right? You're under the bottom of the deck. This person is trying to sabotage your relationship because, uh, with witchcraft, they want you to think something other than what really is an illusion. So we have Scorpio at 2142. You got twin flame, you got new beginning, you got the devil and at a crossroads. Someone's obsessed at a crossroads about the twin flame having a new beginning. Tell me about this for Scorpio. Tower moment. Okay. This is the Empress in the Minor Arcana. So there's a tower, tower moment of heartbreak. Divine timings at play, though, for the two of you to come back together, right? But you have somebody obsessed. You got that devil twice. About the relationship. Someone's being very strategic. Hiding something. Mm, a hidden choice. This is a karmic. Somebody's obsessed with a relationship, King of Swords. There's something hidden. There's a hidden choice. I feel like you're going to have somebody coming out of the woodwork, uh, Scorpio. I feel like you're, somebody wants to come towards someone's obsessed with a relationship with you they regret ending it they regret ending it it's a hidden choice that they're going to take a leap because they regret ending it you know you are their wish fulfillment but there's burden here of them wanting to be it's a burden for them wanting to be with you i i feel like because you are already with somebody else you're, you're meant to be with the, the emperor right they want you to walk away from the emperor from a long-term commitment, right? Someone's at a crossroads about their, their partner because of the mind games and manipulation, waiting for the relationship to move forward. So the king of swords is the person who's trying to, obsessed at a crossroads, trying to Trying to keep you from going where you're meant to be completely. So Sag, 24, 31. Sag, you're, I feel like you're rising from the ashes. I feel like you're having a glow up. This is you just coming up from, if you hit rock bottom, you came back up and you're just looking good, smelling good the whole nine, right? Somebody is trying to seduce, but they're being sneaky. Got all slick Willie here trying to 
productive. Uh, with the tower, this is isolation. Legal structure, restriction, ego, authority, lonely, standing out. Maybe you stand out because of your glow up in this person. Oh, gosh. You almost, the amount of, like, ick. Person thinks there's, you know, this person may act like they're, I don't know. I think I'm getting the man about town kind of thing. The Somebody who just thinks they're all that, you know? Um, you may be out with friends. You may be celebrating. You have somebody talking a lot of smack, passionate, passionate, com I can't even talk. I can't even get the words out. Passionate communication. Um, this person, you may be out, this person may come over and, you know, this is that passionate communication. Somebody's just, you know, flirting, tempting, that kind of thing. Um, be patient. You'll get the victory here. You'll find out the truth. This person could be in a commitment. You're at a crossroads on whether or not this person is, commit uh, there's a commitment here whether or not the person you're talking to is committed but it's going to cause the drama is going to end you're going to figure out the truth the drama is going to end here mm. see you got somebody who's playing mind games and manipulating you they think they're slick willy right you're going to figure out the truth here. You're going to get a victory. This person may be passionately communicating to you and your friends, but you know, there could be some back and forth. I feel like, but the victory is knowing the truth. This person is committed. They're in a commitment. You're at a crossroads. I want to know why the drama it ends with a tower. Okay, this, this, this is saga, this drama ends with a tower moment. Um, somebody is going to be remorseful for the burden they caused. And this, their wish fulfillment is to mind, play mind games and manipulate a situation. Holding back from a partner. This is like holding back from a partner for an option. Sagittarius, when you're out, you're going to have somebody who's going to be talking a whole lot of game, spitting a whole lot of game at you. You're going to look for the truth. If you know the truth, you'll, you'll get the victory here. This person is in a relationship. They regret the burdens. I feel like they're holding back. They're playing mind. They're wishing is to cause my, play mind games and manipulate a situation. They want to hold back from their partner for an option. It's almost like this person. This person is just. It's going to end with a tower. You're waiting for it to end with a tower. It's almost like the wife's going to walk in and, and bust this guy right in his act. People are so brazen these days. It is like they don't even care. I feel like for you, this person's being very uh, sneaky. This person could try to isolate you or get you alone. So seducing you, being sneaky to get you alone. But you've had a glow up. So you almost like you see you see the bullshit coming. You know, you're, you're, uh, you've been through a lot. I feel like that's a possibility here. This person, it's going to blow up in this person's face. Let me just put it that way. Okay, so 29.55 for Capricorn.
So you are um, Capricorn. You may be taking pictures with friends, enjoying something here. You're making healthier choices. You're loving yourself first, but you do have somebody who's toxic or sneaky around you. And there, this person is going to cause some obstacles or trying to cause some obstacles. Okay. I feel like Capricorn, you are making cho better choices for yourself where love and life is concerned. Maybe that this is you deciding to love yourself first, but you may come across pictures. Somebody was trying to be sneaky and it's going to cause an ox. It's going to cause a problem. You may have come across a photograph or somebody you know came across a photograph of your partner with somebody else looking at something from a different perspective when it comes to love because somebody was secretly juggling. This is not speaking to somebody blocking the commitment, right? Walking away, trapped in your head about the relationship. Bottom line here, Capricorn, you may have come across a photograph of your partner with somebody else. Uh, this is time for you to make healthy choices. Love yourself first because this person tried to get away with something, but they didn't. They didn't. Now they're going to be trapped in their head. They're going to know you know, okay? So the fact of the matter is this is a breakup. This is totally a breakup. So I have Aquarius at 3243. Somebody wants to meet up and talk. It could be um It looks like this person's traveling towards you because something ended and this person wants to like they want to maybe take they want to break they want to take it to another level they want to come back and reconcile someone's obsessed with reconciling they want emotional communication about the partnership they want to offer you something they're trapped in their head about walk about you walking away they want some clarity. They want to give you some kind of clarity. They, they made a choice to cut out any of the drama. This is a makeup. This is definitely a makeup for you, Aquarius. They're obsessed with reconciling. They're going to talk to you about fixing this. Yeah, here you are. Yeah, this is about, you definitely are reconciling here. Um, this is the makeup. Um, I feel like if this person is obsessed, that would be you obsessed with um, healing a situation. Okay, so we have Pisces at 34. Somebody's watching you. Somebody's watching me. Yeah. I'm hearing that song in my head. Um, somebody sees that you're happy. That you have a new beginning. Um, it's almost like if somebody brought you flowers and this person stops by, they can see that you're happy. And you have a new beginning and somebody's treating you right. They see that you're being treated right. You got a victory here. See, 
you have a victory. Somebody that was out in the cold is now working on the truth, wanting a new beginning in love, right? Um, they want to take that leap towards the relationship. Uh, it's like, but you're tired of their mind games. You're tired of their mind games and manipulation. You're trapped in your head. See, here's the thing. They want you because somebody else wants you. That's what I'm seeing here. Right? Because you're tired of their mind games and manipulation. You're trapped in your head about a third party. And you're a little guarded and it's illuminating you being a little guarded and defensive, a little resistant, right? So this person knows that you're happy with somebody else. So they're going to try to come towards you, right? Because they want a victory coming out of the cold. No, that's a no for you, Pisces. Stay with the person that makes you happy. Stay where you are. Ignore this person from the past. Most definitely. So, guys, that is all I have for you. If that resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and stay blessed.